Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Ethereum's at all time highs yet again. That has surged my retirement fund portfolio past the 1000% return. Bitcoin, we're gonna do an update on it because we are watching those 50% for a sign of a reversal. And of course, Cardano. Cardano has broken out against the BTC pairing. That plus lots of other news. So stick around for that. Remember to hit the subscribe button, bell notification icon. Let's get the channel to 130,000. We're doing so well into this bull market. Like the video if you find some value from it. Let's dive in. Starting out at my YouTube homepage, the theme that I can see here is Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana. Now there is also TVK, which is a big one that's come up. And of course that doesn't mean I don't like other projects like Cardano, Chainlink and Uniswap. But I wanted to make a point here of TVK, small cap projects. These things can drop 40% or 50%, even more 70%. And you kind of have to wear that if you are looking to get big returns long term. The point in case here is TVK, of course. This dropped to about a $65 million market cap when we had the dip last week. A 30 cent TVK. It has now since risen. And we'll look at that on coin market cap. It's gone up to 55 cents. And the market cap's now 120 million. So it's almost doubled in those few days. And so buying the dips and then being convicted on what you believe in with the project is going to get you to those 10, 20, 50 Xs. A lot of the time, new people will get disheartened when the projects drop 40% or 50% because they haven't done the research on the project and they don't understand it. So I want to bring that up because this is the longer game when it comes to getting these 20 Xs. These projects generally don't go up the next day, but I think a lot of people believe that to be the case. So that is my take on being new and looking for those big returns. Sometimes these things drop. Sometimes they drop and go past support levels and it means get out. Like that's the way I view the market when it comes to a trade. If it's something I really don't think is going to do very well longer term, then yeah, I'll get out. But TBK, I've got my conviction on that and I definitely think we're going further with that coin. And of course, we've just seen it double. It's back up to $120 million market cap. Moving on to Ethereum, I uh, posted this today. ETH is now 5% of BTC price and 30% of Bitcoin market cap. So this is really starting to come up in the ranks. I think ETH will flip Bitcoin at some point. I don't know if it's going to be this cycle or next, next cycle. To be honest, that doesn't really matter. It's just kind of a fun thing to watch and see the BTC maxis get triggered and ETH maxes get triggered. It's, it's a whole lot of nonsense out there. The main point is we want to see our investments increase in value. That's the name of the game. And I think that will happen at some point. ETH will uh, flip Bitcoin. At the moment, it's 30% of the BTC market cap, which is crazy. And it's about 15% of the overall market cap. We can see that here, 15.2, while Bitcoin has dropped in its dominance. Now, I've been looking up TVK, like you can see there. Uh, looking at the market cap, 2.1 trillion BTC, 1 trillion ETH, 320 billion. This is really starting to skyrocket again, but we're going to look at the BTC chart because I'm not 100% convinced just yet. And the beauty about it is we're so close to the same price to figure out if we're going to get a breakout price. Going to Ecomi, just for a second, uh, we've got a billion dollar market cap. You guys have asked about the OMI token a lot. I have an interview coming up with the CEO tomorrow being Friday 30th. So you've got a few hours if you want to ask some questions, hit me up on Twitter. I'll put a comment up on Twitter just after this video and you guys can ask your questions over there. So make sure you're following me on Twitter. Um, yeah, interviewing the CEO for Ecomi. So you've got questions, drop them there. Over to this Twitter post here. Charles just losing his shite over people discussing the Cardano project. If you want to have a few laughs, check it out. Uh, but really, I like to take a broad picture of the projects that I'm investing in. Of course, Cardano is one of them. For the guys who have been following me, I don't think you're new to my views on Cardano. I think it is going to go up, but I think they are really sort of starting to lag and it's showing in the community of people talking about it. They're starting to lag in the development. It can take a bit longer, that's fine. They're gonna do well, it's gonna be okay. It is starting to show how long it's taking, especially when you've got things like Solana, which are ready to use right now. Cardano is just on a little bit of an uptick at the moment in terms of our Google Trends. I suspect that is due to Cardano Africa special coming up in the next few hours. 
Crypto fear and greed, we've dropped just a little from yesterday. We we're at the greed at 59, back to neutral at 52. Now we had a fair bit of fear over the last seven days, so we're just starting to climb our way back. Onto the news, this was FUD. I saw this yesterday, people were talking about uh, Facebook buying and holding Bitcoin. Long history of false rumors and reports when it comes to huge announcements that could affect the Bitcoin price, which may be why the crypto asset uh, didn't move much after Milne shared the rumor on social media. So garbage, if you saw that on, on uh, the crypto news yesterday, it looks like it was a whole lot of, let's call it hogwash. But anyway, this article talks about three reasons why Facebook should hold Bitcoin rather than they're actually buying it. Facebook has a reputation issue. Number two, Bitcoin makes more sense than DM. I I tend to agree with that in a sense. This is more like if you want to buy and hold Bitcoin, but DM is supposed to be used on their network, and I don't think Bitcoin is a, a crypto that is to be traded like the dollar. It's more of a gold. That's what we've. That's what we use Bitcoin for, a store of value. Number three, pumponomics. So definitely, if you're buying something like this, it is definitely going to pump Bitcoin's price. The SEC delays decision on Vanek Bitcoin ETF. A call won't be made until June at the earliest. So this is looking a little bit sooner than I thought. At least we'll get some sort of answer. Even if it's a no, we'll know. But I was thinking probably the end of the year for an ETF. Maybe we get a no now and then we get a yes later on. The SEC has extended its review of Vanek's proposal for a Bitcoin ETF. The new deadline is June 17th, but it may well be extended again. Probably going to keep going like this. This is what happened in 2017 uh, when it came to the Bitcoin futures. That, that sort of kept getting put off from memory, if my memory serves me correctly. If approved, Vanek's Bitcoin ETF will be the first in the US. So I think we're all sort of waiting on this here. The initial deadline for the SEC decision on whether or not to approve the ETF was May 3rd, 45 day, days after the filing was logged in the Federal Register. The new deadline is June 17th, but the SEC can continue to extend it up to 240 days after the initial filing. So yeah, it could be later in this year, they can keep extending it. Large Bitcoin addresses accumulated 90,000 BTC in three weeks. Pretty decent there. Just wanted to make mention of that. Accumulated Bitcoin stands at around 4.92 billion. So the company mentioned the whales have started accumulating large amounts, particularly after BTC's all-time high on 14th of April. Ethereum flips the market cap of PayPal. So this is going to become more and more news of cryptocurrencies flipping market caps in the traditional stock market. Now I was having a conversation with a friend tonight at the gym who is setting up a fintech wallet in the cryptocurrency space. He was in the traditional space and now has moved over to cryptocurrency. Uh, so he's got the experience, they've got their licenses and um, basically just talking with him about market caps and how they work in cryptocurrency compared to traditional markets like the stock market. And it's almost like apples and oranges, you know. I think it's a great news. I think it's going to make for a great headline. Ethereum crosses market cap of PayPal, but it's not the same thing, you know, like the when you were buying into these cryptocurrencies, the you can get a supply shortage very easily, which will skyrocket the market cap price, skyrockets the price of the crypto and the market cap. It's slightly different in the stock market where you're going to have a few more of these stocks on the market. And sure, you can get short squeezes or long squeezes or whatever squeeze you want. People can be accumulating all of the stock and then there's nothing left on the market. And that's when you get the spikes up as well. But if you've been in the space long enough, you know that these market caps just aren't exactly the same when it comes to crypto versus uh, the stock market. Cardano to roll out black uh, blockchain based IDs to millions of students in Africa. So this is a lot of uh, big news that's been coming out for Cardano. I made a mention to this in a couple of other videos before and talking with uh, George today on our live stream together, which was a lot of fun. Uh, check it out if you haven't already and George's channels over there as well. Looking at this, I don't know if it is such a big piece of news that is being pumped up there. Does anyone really see this as going to be pushing the coin up? Or is it just part of a humanitarian project that Charles is interested in in Africa? That's the question I pose to you guys. What do you think? Simplex integrates Cardano, enabling millions to purchase ADA via credit cards. So this is... This is a good thing. This is a good thing for Cardano because now people can actually buy the token. Israeli payments processor Simplex will allow its users to easily buy ADA 
through Apple Pay and credit cards easily. ADA joins other top cryptos available through Simplex, including Bitcoin, Ether, Litecoin, and Polkadot. They're doing all right. They've got some Polkadot. They've got Ether. They've got Bitcoin. Yes, Litecoin's up there too. Uh, so that at least can bring some more people to Cardano as opposed to a humanitarian project in Africa. Last here, I wanted to bring up a bit of property news because I have mentioned it and it's something that I do a lot of research on but don't talk about it much. So just a few seconds on the channel, then we'll head over to the charts. We are looking at 2026 as the top of the property market. You can say whatever you want about the market that you think it's going to crash in 2021 or 2022. I am very convinced of 2026, especially with all of the economic news coming out. And if you aren't following already, go and check out Property Share Market Economics, a small account, but I've done many interviews with the economists that work here and that have founded Property Share Market Economics. Kathy, for example, and I've got one coming up with Akil, who is a fantastic researcher from the UK. Uh, if you want to know about the cycle, and this is the major cycle, the stuff we're in with cryptocurrency is just the gambling stuff. We're in a little casino at the moment, having some fun. This is where the big money is in land, real estate. And so the, the, all the news here is basically moving towards 2026 as being the top. And you'll start to see more big high rises being coming up for completion around this date, 2025 through to 2028, call it. They're going to start having all these crazy, you know, they've got Bentley in here announcing their first ever branded residential tower. It's pretty crazy stuff that is going to be happening in this section of the cycle. All right. I'll bring up more of that in future videos, but let's have a look at the charts. Bitcoin USD. Now, weekly chart doesn't show us any more than we're looking at last week or a few days ago. That's fine because that's a macro view. Let's look at the daily. We have just had a little hit at 55, uh, gets on 56 and a half. Now, I think maybe we'll see a little bit of a drop testing those levels there at 51, 52. And then I think we're going to go sideways for a little bit and just begin to test the highs again. People are going to get excited come back down, test the lows. People are going to get fearful, test the highs again. This isn't to scale, so forget it. But essentially, I think we're going to be doing a bit of testing before we figure out whether we're going up or down from this point. That's what this is sort of telling me at the moment. Bitcoin dominance, we are well and truly under that 50 point. So yeah, we've just started to break down yet again. And the money is flowing into the alts. Pancake, crazy. New all-time highs on Pancake. Just continuing to pump the cake. Ethereum is surging past getting closer to 2800 now we are starting to slow down with the ranges so i'm, I'm wary of that but long term like I'm, I'm bullish ethereum long term we're just not getting these massive push downs to take out new lows and then the volume is coming in a lot more as we push to these lows so that's why we keep going up the five percent eth btc strong again this is looking fantastic not more not much more i can say it's everything that we've been watching for the last few months new recent highs on eth btc pair eth bitcoin very bullish eth usd bullish cardano broke through the ada btc pair that's what i wanted to talk about uh, that's Ave. i want to talk about in today's video is the break just here that's where my alert went off around that 2500 satoshi level Volume has been drying up here, but I'm on, I'm, on, I'm on Binance. Now we've got a bit of volume, more volume on the lows. This potentially will be a solid break. And then we're going to start getting a little bit more bullish into the Cardano space. I still want to see some closes above this level as per usual, because otherwise we'll get a little bit of a fake like this. And we still have half the day left to trade on Cardano BTC. So this is just the first sign. Let's continue to watch that. ADA ETH bouncing off its 20 week moving average. And a lot of people love that moving average. But this is also starting to form a little bit of a base. I'm not sold on it just yet. We just don't want to see it break down because this could be a little bit further. And then ETH obviously is going to continue going up from that point. ADA USD starting to climb back towards our highs. Dollar, call it a dollar forty, and we are well and truly positioning ourselves between this dollar and a dollar fifty level. Still trading sideways. Staking pool is coming. Don't worry, it is definitely coming. TVK USD fifty five cents. Look at that bounce. That's a solid bounce. This was the part where everyone was writing saying, it's garbage, you know, I got into it, it's garbage. This is what happens every time when people don't do their research and they're not convicted on their project that they're in. 12, 12 days from the dump to the recovery. And if you had some more money on the sidelines, buy up. Look at the volume coming at these lows and look at how many days up we've gone in a row. One, two, three, four. This is our fifth day up out of a low. That's pretty good going. It's even more days up than Bitcoin's had. So I think this is a bit of a stronger trend, if I could say this early on in the trend, 
and we'll see some pullback at some point. I'm not saying where yet because we don't have a sign. But this is what happens when people don't do their research and understand what it is they're investing in. TVK, BTC also on the rise as well. So you're increasing in value against BTC. Yeah, this is looking strong. There you have it guys, Cardano breaking out against Bitcoin. USD still holding its ground up in that dollar to dollar 50, more accumulation happening up there. Ethereum, new all time highs, crazy. 5% of Bitcoin value, 30% of Bitcoin's market cap. I think it's going to flip Bitcoin at some point. Who am I? Some guy on the internet. But that's my views of Ethereum. TBK recovered very well. And I think there'll be a pullback at some point. We've had five straight up, a day straight up. So that's a pretty bullish sign at the moment. And that was looking pretty sweet. Cake just went absolutely nuts as well. Overall, news is looking good. If there is another washout in Bitcoin, great. I would love to see that, right? Uh, but overall, I think we're going to be, well, overall, the market is bullish long term. Should we get a shakeout? Fantastic. Buying opportunities. Let's go. If you love the video, let me know. Hit the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel. Bell notification icon. All of that good stuff. Join us for the newsletter. as a free newsletter. Uh, drop your email address. Link is down below. The new newsletter just went out today. So you guys that have dropped in your email addresses, I hope you enjoyed it. Let us know what you think of it. A uh, lot of good information on there, especially with trades that have been coming up in the Investor Accelerator group. So I'll leave you with that, guys. Thanks once again. SwiftX links, uh, SwiftX links are down in the description if you want to trade. But until next time, have more fun to get more done.